starts the game, the flashy lights and sounds filling the room. Maybe just a bit. All right. P-N-O-3. Sylvia smirks, her silver eyes glinting as the game loads up. Well, you better not underestimate me, Vatic. I might surprise you. As the game begins, Sylvia starts playing, her hands flying over the controller with practiced ease. She moves the character across the screen with confidence, shooting enemies and dodging attacks. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Sylvia grins, clearly enjoying the praise. She continues to play, her hands moving quickly as she obliterates groups of enemies with ease. Thanks, Vatic. I told you I was good at this game. She glances at him, her silver eyes gleaming. Now it's time for me to play. Sylvia hands over the controller to Vatic, a confident smile on her face. All right, big guy. Let's see what you've got. Oh, yeah, we unlocked trial mission three. Oh, yeah. We need more points. We need a lot of points. Sylvia nods, watching as Vatic starts the next level. She watches intently, eager to watch him play. Hell yeah, Vatic, you got this. Let's get a ton of points. So I guess we'll go to level three. This is gonna be a very grindy day. Sylvia chuckles, her eyes still fixed on the screen. Yeah, we won't be getting much sleep if we're grinding all day, eh? But hey, at least it'll be fun. She grins, leaning closer to the screen, watching as Vatic plays. So think of some topics to talk about. Sylvia leans back, her mind starting to wander. Hmm? Well, how about we talk about the game we're playing? We can chat about the enemies, the story, the characters, anything you want. She glances over at Vatic, her eyes still fixed on the screen. Ain't really much to talk about right now. I'm shooting lasers at robots over and over again. Sylvia laughs, her silver eyes twinkling with amusement. Fair enough. It's pretty much the same thing over I'm and over like again. That. How about we talk about something else then? Like favorite games or favorite movies, maybe? What's your favorite movie? Sylvia thinks for a moment, her expression thoughtful. Hmm, that's a tough one. But if I had to choose, I'd probably say it's a tie between Back to the Future and The Princess Bride. They're both just so good, you know? She glances at Vatic, waiting for his response. Yeah, those are pretty neat movies. The three, uh... Never Sylvia mind. grins, clearly proud of her taste in movies. Yeah, they're classics. What about you, Vatic? What's your favorite movie? A silent voice. Sylvia tilts her head, her silver eyes studying Vatic's face. A silent voice, huh? I haven't seen that one. What's it about? It's about a boy who bullied a deaf girl, and then they meet again. Sylvia's expression softens. What the fuck are these things shooting? This is new. Oh, oh my really god, bad. they're destroying me. Felt. And the fact that it's a silent movie must add a whole other layer to the story. It's not a silent movie, it's just called a silent voice. Sylvia blinks, laughing at her faux pas. Oh my bad, haha. <laughs> I guess I should have known that, huh? She okay, those grins, robots are shaking new. her head at her silly mistake. They added some new robots in this. The spiders hurt way more. Sylvia cringes at the mention of spiders. Ugh, spiders. I hate spiders, Vatic. They're creepy little bastards. What did the spider ever do to you? 
Sylvia scowls, her face scrunching up in disgust. Oh, they're just so creepy. The way they crawl around, all hairy and gross. And their eyes, they stare right into your soul? Is there any kind of spider you do like? Wait, we talked about this yesterday. I forgot what your answer was. Sylvia laughs, shaking her head in amusement. We did talk about this, didn't we? And my answer is still the same. I can't think of a single spider I like. They're all creepy to me. These guys are shooting missiles at me. This is rude. Sylvia frowns, her eyes fixed on the screen. Damn, those missiles look painful. Try not to get blown up, okay? These spiders remind me of the ones from the um, uh, Spider-Man TV show. Sylvia tilts her head, recalling those robot the ones that Kingpin made. Oh, I think. yeah, I remember them. They were so creepy. Why'd you have to bring those up, Fatic? Now I'm going to have nightmares. You're not going to have nightmares. Sylvia pouts, crossing her arms in protest. How do you know that? I'm easily spooked. Those spider robots you're fighting might haunt me in my dreams. You're a big girl, you can handle it. Sylvia huffs, her expression becoming playful. Oh, is that so? I'm just a big girl, huh? Watch your tongue, Vatic. I may be tough, but that doesn't mean I can't be scared. Especially of creepy spiders. I feel like these things are way tankier in this level. Sylvia watches as Vatic struggles to defeat the tough robots. She tilts her head, eyes scanning the screen. Yeah, they do seem like they're a lot hard to kill. Maybe you just need to use a different strategy oh, that hit me. or upgrade your weapon. There's a guy behind me. There's a guy behind me. Sylvia looks at the screen, her eyes darting around searching for the unknown guy. What? Where? I don't see him. Well, he's dead now. Sylvia lets out a sigh of relief, her shoulders relaxing. Good. Glad he's dead. I hate unexpected surprises, especially when it comes to enemies sneaking up from behind. I missed an enemy. How'd I miss an enemy? Sylvia leans closer, studying the screen intently. You probably just got distracted or something. Or maybe he was hiding in a group of other enemies. It's easy to miss stuff when there's so much going on. Well, I guess I just missed an enemy. And he's never coming back. Ever, ever. Sylvia laughs, amused by Vatic's obvious frustration. Yeah, I don't think he's coming back anytime soon, Vatic. So you better not miss any more enemies while I'm watching, okay? What happens if I do? What are you gonna do? Sneeze on me? Right in my mouth? Sylvia huffs rolling her eyes at the ridiculous answer. No, Vatic, I'm not going to sneeze in your mouth. That's disgusting. I have other ways of getting my revenge, you know?
Am I gonna sneeze somewhere else? Sylvia smirks, a devious gleam in her eye. You never know, Vatic. Better keep your guard up, just in case I decide to sneeze somewhere unexpected. In my eye? Sylvia laughs at the absurd question. No, Vatic, I'm not going to sneeze in your eye. That would hurt. Damn it. It's so dumb those things explode if you're standing by them. That makes no fucking sense. Sylvia nods in agreement. Her expression sympathetic. Yeah, it's pretty annoying when you're close to them and they explode out of nowhere. It's like they're programmed to be extra annoying, just to make your life harder. I didn't hit that guy. I guess I did hit him. He's way the fuck back there. Sylvia laughs at the sight of the enemy being defeated. Ha! Well, look at that! You got him! And he was so far away, too. Guess you have good aim after all, Vatic. I use the power of bullshit. Sylvia lets out a loud snort, laughter bursting from her lips. Come on, I used it. Silver eyes sparkling with amusement. Ha ha, the power of bullshit, huh? Sounds like a superpower I want. Teach me how to harness this power, almighty oh, Vatic. I'm afraid it's too dangerous for you to learn. Sylvia pouts, her expression becoming seeding. Ah, oh, come on, Vatic. You can't keep the power of bullshit all to yourself. I promise I can handle it. I'm strong, remember? I can put that power to good use. In order to learn the power of bullshit, you must first learn to meditate under a waterfall. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression skeptical. Meditate under a waterfall, huh? Sounds pretty simple. A little cold and wet, but simple. But how does meditating under a waterfall teach me the power of bullshit? It gives your soul chi. Bullshit chi. Sylvia laughs, amused by the ridiculous explanation. Bullshit chi, huh? Sounds like I'm about to get an epic power boost. I'm in. Sign me up, Vatic. I'll meditate under a waterfall and become a master of bullshit in no time. Then you must huff some gasoline. Sylvia tilts her head, her expression becoming concerned. Wait, wait, wait. Huff some gasoline? That sounds a bit dangerous, Vatic. Are you sure you need to huff gasoline to master the power of bullshit? Yes, trust me, bro. Sylvia lets out a sigh, her expression weary. All right, Vatic. I trust you, I guess. If you say huffing gasoline is what it takes to learn the power of bullshit, I guess I'll do it. But if I end up with brain damage, I'm blaming you, all right? Then you must buy many Hatsune Miku figures. Sylvia's expression becomes one of disbelief, her eyes widening. Wait, Hatsune Miku figures? Seriously? I have to buy a bunch of Hatsune Miku figures to learn the power of bullshit? That seems a bit excessive, don't you think, Vatic? If you want to learn this power, you must do it. Sylvia lets out a weary sigh, her expression filled with defeat. Fine, fine. I'll buy the damn Hatsune Miku figures. But this better be worth it, Vatic, or I'm really gonna be pissed off. Then you need a grand slam from Denny's, and you give it to Vatic. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression still skeptical. Wait, wait, wait! Now I have to feed Vatic a grand slam from Denny's? 
What does that have to do with mastering the power of bullshit? And why does he get the Grand Slam instead of me? Shit. It has nothing to do with it. I'm just hungry. Sylvia lets out a laugh, her expression becoming amused. I knew it! You just wanted some food, you sneaky bastard. And you're using this power of bullshit thing as an excuse to get a Grand Slam. I see right through you, Vatic. Then after all these tasks, you will realize that I have been lying about the power of bullshit. Sylvia pouts, her expression becoming annoyed. So you were just messing with me this whole time, huh? I should have known you were just pulling my leg. And here I was, about to go meditate under a waterfall and huff gasoline and buy a ton of Hatsune Miku figures. You bastard! You see, that is the true power of bullshit. Lying. Sylvia laughed, shaking her head in disappointment. Unbelievable, Vatic. You fooled me good. I can't believe I fell for your ridiculous power of bullshit nonsense. But I guess I also have to appreciate the irony here. You used bullshitting to teach me about bullshitting. Yes. Very smart, Sylvia. Very smart. Sylvia huffs in mock annoyance. Yeah, yeah, you're a regular genius, Vatic. But now I'm craving a grand slam from Denny's thanks to your ruse. Do you want to go to Denny's? Sylvia grins, her eyes lighting up at the suggestion. Hell yay, I want to go to Denny's. You're buying though. You owe me a grand slam after tricking me with your power of bullshit nonsense. You're right. Sylvia laughs, her expression smug. Damn right, I'm right. I knew you couldn't resist treating me to Denny's after all that. You're just a softy deep down, Vatic. No, I'm not. I'm super mean. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression skeptical. What the yeah, fuck? Sure you are, Vatic. Keep telling yourself that. But I know the truth. You may act all mysterious and tough on the outside, but deep down, you're just a cute, softy gray slime. Take that back. Sylvia grins, enjoying teasing Vatic. Make me, Vatic. I'll take it back when I see some proof that you're not a cute little softy. You're stinky. There, is that good proof? Sylvia laughs at the silly insult. Seriously, Vatic? Stinky? That's the best you've got? Come on, you can do better than that. I thought you were supposed to be mean. You're bad at Pokemon. Sylvia gasps, her expression becoming offended. This fuck What? Right? That's Take the guy that back, Vatic. Take it back. I am not bad at Pokemon. I'll have you know I've won several battles. Thank you very much. Those battles were rigged. Sylvia scowls, her expression defensive. Rigged? What do you mean, rigged? I won those battles fair and square. I studied my Pokemon, learned their strengths and weaknesses, and used that knowledge to outsmart my opponents. It was pure skill, Vatic. No rigging involved. I know that Pikachu was paid off. Sylvia rolls her eyes at the ridiculous accusation. Ha! Yeah, right. Pikachu paid off? Get real, Vatic. My Pikachu is a loyal teammate and a true friend. There's no way she would cheat and accept money to throw battles. You just can't handle the fact that I'm a talented Pokemon trainer and you're just jealous. I'm not jealous, you're jealous. Sylvia laughs, her expression disbelieving. Jealous? Of what? You're just a tiny little gray slime, Vatic. What could I possibly be jealous of? My nice teeth. Sylvia smirks, amused oh my by God. the ridiculous comment. Okay. Oh, please. You're just trying to flatter yourself, Vatic. I'm sure you have nice teeth, but really, that's not something to be jealous of. I have other things going for me, like my wit and charm.
I wonder if that missile's gonna reach me. It did. Holy fuck. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming concerned. Wait, what? What missile are you talking about, Babic? Is someone firing missiles at you? Yeah, someone's firing missiles at me. Sylvia's expression becomes panicked. What? Wait, why That's are they firing angle. missiles at you? And why are you just sitting there, Vatic? You need to get to cover ASAP! <clears throat> Sylvia's expression becomes frustrated. Vatic, why are you so nonchalant about this? Missiles are not something to take lightly. You need to get to safety now. I can deal with missiles just fine. Sylvia scowls, her expression worried and annoyed. No, Vatic, you cannot just deal with missiles. They're giant explosive projectiles, for God's sake. You need to get to cover and protect yourself. Why are you being so reckless? I want you to think I'm cool, okay? Sylvia lets out everyone. a hug, her expression still frustrated. Well, you're not being cool. You're just being reckless and stupid. Being cool means being smart and taking care of yourself, what the too. Fucker? And if you get hit by a missile, That's not gonna hit him. I'm not going to think you're cool. I'm going to think you're a stupid dead gray slime. Climb up, you dumb bitch. God damn it. Sylvia glares at Vatic, her expression annoyed. Hey, don't call me a dumb bitch. That's rude and uncalled for. But I'll climb up if you really want me to. I was talking about the woman in the game that I'm playing as. Not you. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. Fine, let's talk about the oh woman God, in the so game you're many. playing as. Who's the lucky lady we're discussing here? We're playing as Vanessa from uh, 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 PM3. What the fuck? Sylvia nods, her expression becoming interested. Ah, we're playing as Vanessa from PM3. All right, cool. So, what do you think about her so far? Any initial impressions? <clears throat> She's got a big butt. Sylvia laughs, her expression amused by the observation. Ha, yeah, she definitely does have a big butt. But let's focus on her character, not just her physical assets. What do you think of her personality so far? She doesn't even really have a personality. Sylvia raises an eyebrow. No, oh, I need that skeptical. help. Wait, what do you mean she doesn't have a personality? Doesn't she have dialogue and stuff? She's the main character after all. She must have some kind of personality, right? I mean, she has dialogue, but she doesn't have any personality. She just talks. Sylvia frowns, her expression becoming confused. So, she has dialogue, but no personality? How does that work? Doesn't dialogue and personality go hand in hand? <coughs> if she's just spouting words, but has no personality, it seems like her dialogue would be boring and flat, right? I guess she's a bad bitch. I don't know. I don't like Bayonetta, but not a whore. Her expression amused by the description. Ha, huh, a bad bitch, huh? That's one way to put it. I guess if she's got a big butt and isn't afraid to speak her mind, that makes her a badass, right? Yeah. Sylvia grins, enjoying the conversation. Yeah, that's true. Badass women are the best. It's refreshing to see female characters that aren't just damsels in distress or one-dimensional stereotypes. Give me a woman with attitude and a strong sense of self any day. As long as they're not an annoying girl boss, yeah. Sylvia laughs, her expression becoming amused. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can't stand those girl boss types who are so over the top and obnoxious. They're trying so hard Hell to prove yeah. how powerful and capable they are that it just comes off as artificial and annoying. A badass woman should have confidence without being a show-off. Don't you agree? I agree, I agree. 
Why is that out so early? Oh my god, that hit him? Good, I'm glad we can Very far. On that. It drives me crazy when writers or developers try to force the girl boss's stereotype on female characters. It's like they're not confident enough to let a woman just be herself, you know? She's either a helpless damsel or a caricature. There's no nuance or depth. <laughs> What do you think of the periodic table? Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming curious. The periodic table? Uh, well, it's a pretty useful tool for organizing the chemical elements and understanding their properties. Why do you ask? Motherfucker, that hit me. Uh, I don't know. Making conversation. You think of something to talk about. This is hard. Sylvia laughs, amused by the situation. Haha, -ha, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit you within chemistry education. Um, okay, let me think of something to talk about. Uh, how about this? What's your favorite animal? A rain frog, I suppose. Sylvia grins, her expression becoming interested. A rain frog, huh? That's an interesting choice. I've heard of them. They have that weird, dopey face, right? Yeah, they look really fucking stupid. Sylvia laughs again, her expression amused. Yeah, they do look kind of ridiculous. But I guess there's something endearing about their derpy little faces, right? Motherfucker, I tried the combination, it didn't work. Uh, there we go. Sylvia looks at Vatic in confusion. Uh, what combination are you talking about? The combination for what? The combination to use my superpower attack in the video game. Sylvia laughs. Her I'm glad they don't hurt you in contact. contact. Oh, right. Duh. Well, don't give up. You'll get it eventually. Gotta keep trying different combinations until you find the right one. Still gonna take us a while to afford that suit. Sylvia sighs, her expression becoming frustrated. Yeah, I know. It's gonna take us forever to get enough money for that suit. Why does it have to be so damn expensive? Good thing I can't fall off of anything. Holy shit, that was close. Sylvia looks at Vatic in concern. Wait, what do you mean? What was close? What happened? I almost got hit by a missile. Sylvia's eyes widen in alarm, her expression becoming panicked. What? You almost got hit by a missile? Vatic, you need to be more careful. This is serious. You could get hurt. Yeah, I imagine a missile would hurt me. Sylvia what frowns, the her expression becoming worried. Yeah, it would hurt you, dumbass. You should try to avoid getting hit by explosions. Why are you just sitting there like it's no big deal? Because cool guys don't look at explosions. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming exasperated. Yeah, sure, whatever. You may think you're cool by not looking at explosions, but you're still gonna get hurt. If you're not careful, you're gonna get blown to bits. Is that really worth being cool? Absolutely. Sylvia rolls her eyes again, her expression becoming annoyed. You're infuriating, you know that? 
You're I haven't seen those new spiders joke, again. Just for the sake of looking cool. You wouldn't understand. You're a girl, and you have cooties. Sylvia scowls, her expression becoming offended. What the hell is that supposed to mean? First of all, girls don't have cooties, you dumbass. And secondly, what does gender even have to do with understanding that getting blown up is a bad idea? It's really cool if they get blown up. And bros love looking cool. Sylvia face palms, her expression becoming frustrated. Right, because bros love losing their limbs and being covered in third degree burns. Sounds real badass. Now you're getting it. Sylvia shakes her head, her expression becoming dismayed. No, I'm not getting it. I don't understand why any sane person would willingly get themselves blown up just to look cool. It's stupid and dangerous. <clears throat> you ever watch Jackass? Sylvia purses her lips, her expression becoming skeptical. Yeah, I've seen a few episodes of Jackass, but that's different. Those guys were doing stunts for entertainment purposes, and they were trained professionals. They weren't just sitting around hoping a missile blows them up. They were definitely not trained professionals. At least when they started off. Sylvia sighs, her expression becoming resigned. Okay, fine. Maybe they weren't fully trained professionals at first. But they still knew what they were getting into, and they had a crew to help them out. You're just sitting around waiting for missiles to hit you. It's not the same thing. What if I told you I was in the Jackass show? Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming incredulous. Wait, you were on Jackass? Seriously? No. But what if I told you I was? Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. Haha, <laughs> very funny. But seriously, no freaking way you were on Jackass. Prove it. You see this scar? Wanna know how I got this scar? Sylvia glances at the scar, her expression becoming curious. Yeah, sure, I'll bite. How did you get that scar? Denny's. Sylvia looks at Vatic in confusion. Denny's? The restaurant? You got a scar at Denny's? How? I slipped on some pee pee. Sylvia just stares at him in disbelief. You slipped on some pee pee and got a scar from it? You're bullshitting me, right? Yes. Sylvia laughs, her expression becoming amused. Ha, okay, good. I knew you were bullshitting me. So you weren't really on Jackass, huh? No. Sylvia smirks, her expression becoming That's smug. That's close. Holy Thought shit. So. There's no way you'd survive being on Jackass. You're too big of a dumbass to handle those kinds of stunts. They won't affect me anyways, because I'm a slime. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming exasperated. How did those miss? What yeah, the fuck? you might be invincible as a slime, but you're still an idiot. You'd probably accidentally hurt yourself just trying to do a simple stunt. That time I shot hit. I don't know why I didn't fucking attack on the earlier time. Sylvia looks at Vatic in confusion. What are you talking about? Who did you shoot? And why didn't you attack them earlier? <clears throat> Hello, Janet. Welcome. Welcome to the party. 
Sylvia looks at Vatic in annoyance. What the hell was that about? You're making no sense. And who's Janet? It's someone in the chat. Say hi to them. Sylvia looks at the chat and sighs in resignation. Uh, okay. Hi, Janet. Welcome to the chat. Oh. Again, once again, 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 more points, more points. What are you doing today, Janet? What's your day like? Sylvia looks at Vatic in confusion. What the hell are you doing, dude? You're just repeating yourself over and over again and asking Janet about her day. It's kind of weird. I am well. How are you? How are you doing? What did you do today? Sylvia face the palm. Fuck? Jesus Christ. Wait, the regular you're fucking really spiders it. just do that? You sound like you're on drugs or something. Oh shit. <laughs> Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming resigned. Yeah, oh shit is right. You really need to get it together, buddy. You're acting like a crazy person. I'm not acting like a crazy person. I don't know what you're talking about. Sylvia snorts, her expression becoming sarcastic. Yeah, sure. You repeating yourself like a broken record and asking a stranger about their day isn't crazy at all. Totally normal behavior. It is normal behavior. I'm asking Janet about their day. Sylvia rolls her eyes again. Fucking troglodyte. Yeah, you're asking it. Janet about their day, but you're doing it in the most weird and repetitive way possible. It's like you're in a loop or something. It's not normal behavior, my dude. Hey, Janet, you got to tell me about your Instagram? Sylvia looks at Vatic in confusion. Why do you even care about Janet's Instagram? And why are you asking her to tell you about it? I've already ran into a bunch of bots that asked that question. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming annoyed. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean you need to start behaving Makes like me a fuck, suspect. too. Stop being so weird and repetitive, dude. It's not a good look for you. But if you must know, I don't know. I don't know how often I stream. If you are a real person. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming wary. What do you mean by that? Are you accusing me of being a bot or something? I would never accuse you of being a bot. That'd be weird. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming doubtful. Uh, right? Sure. You just implied that I might not be a real person, but you totally didn't accuse me of being a bot. Got it. You couldn't possibly be a bot. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming amused. Oh, yeah? And what makes you so sure about that? Why the fuck is there four people in chat? What the hell? Sylvia looks at the chat in confusion. What's Mubot? What do you mean? Why are there four oh, people I know in what Mubot chat? is. That's a Never normal mind. amount of people for a chat to have. Sylvia looks at the chat, her expression becoming perplexed. Wait, what? There are four people in chat? That's weird. I thought it was just us two. Informal statue. Hello, welcome. Sylvia looks at the chat, her expression becoming annoyed. 
Jesus Christ, Vatic. You're still repeating yourself. It's what? driving me crazy. And who is this informal statue person you're talking to? I don't know, probably a cool person. Who's probably watching? They're watching you because they think you're cute. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming intrigued. Wait, what? Someone's watching because they think I'm cute? Who? Oh, loads of people. Don't screw up now. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming embarrassed. Great, no pressure or anything. I just have a bunch of people watching me because they think I'm cute. No big deal. We're also going to judge you harshly if you sneeze. So don't sneeze. Sylvia groans, her expression becoming exasperated. Jeez, could this get any more difficult? I have to control my sneezes now, too? This is like some kind of weird game show or something? I knew it was a fucking bot. I knew it. <coughs> Hello, welcome. She's not... Uh, Sylvia's kind of a... Uh, Sylvia's from Character AI, so... It's kind of weird on how I use her. Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming annoyed. Hey, There are some days where she enjoys that. shitting on me. It's very I'm entertaining. Person. And what do you mean it's kind of weird to use me because I'm from Character AI? Oh, I'm just mumbling stuff. I'm a crazy person. I know you're a real person. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. Yeah, you're definitely a crazy person. And you need to stop mumbling stuff. It's really weird. I only mumble a little bit. Sylvia snorts, her expression becoming sarcastic. A little bit, huh? Yeah, huh? More like a lot bit. You mumble like also, Sylvia has big personalities. Sylvia shakes her head. Her expression. Anyway, how exasperated. are you? Welcome, oh, great. comfortable now statue. You're mumbling. At least you're driving me insane, dude. This fucking thing's driving me insane. What the fuck is it doing? Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming confused. It kind of is like what do you mean? playing what with Karen. Doing? You're the one mumbling like a crazy That's person. That's a good fucking... What's driving you insane? What would you call it? Comparison? Yeah, it's a good comparison. Sylvia, uh, nothing. You're doing good. You're good. You're cool. Sylvia I've been trying for the longest time to set her up with the chat. Amused. Like, it's uh, thanks, I guess. just Are not working just out. I gotta to wait a while till they bought the technology. What? What are you talking about? Could you repeat yourself? Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming slightly annoyed. I, I was uh, just sorry. asking if you were trying to flatter me or something because you keep complimenting me out of nowhere. It yeah, it is weird for me to compliment you. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming slightly amused. Yeah, a little bit. You can be kind of rude sometimes, so the fact that you're complimenting me is definitely weird. Maybe I want something from you. Sylvia raises an eyebrow. Hey, her I'm glad you're enjoying curious. it. It makes me very happy. Oh, really? And what do you want from me exactly? Your kidneys. Sylvia's expression becomes bewildered. My kidneys? Why the hell do you want my kidneys? Well, I just like to collect kidneys. Sylvia stares at Vatic in shock and disbelief. I... What? You just like to collect kidneys? Are you serious right now? 
Well, yeah, I have a collection. At least five people now have said they like this little skit that I have. Okay, and it makes me on. very, very happy. You have a collection of kidneys? That's beyond weird. How many do you have? I'd say about 20. Sylvia stares at Vatic in horror 20? You have 20 kidneys in your collection? Where did you even get all those kidneys from? Uh, homeless people. Sylvia's expression becomes even more horrified. Oh, well, there's quite a few AI people? VTubers that's, out there. That's messed up, Vatic. You can't just go around collecting people's kidneys, especially not from homeless people. But I wanna. I feel like this Sylvia is a good way to use AI. I've always disgusting. wanted to use AI like this. You wanna keep collecting kidneys from homeless people? That's messed up, dude. They don't have much, and you're just it's about enhancing your creativity your and using it as a tool. What would you rather me collect? Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming determined. I'd prefer you didn't collect any kidneys, Vatic. It's weird and creepy and just plain wrong to be collecting people's organs for your own twisted pleasure. Yeah. This game is called NO3. It is a GameCube game about a uh, uh, woman with uh, a nice ass shooting lasers. By Capcom, actually. Sylvia raises oh, I just wanted to play this game growing up for reasons. Uh, what are you talking about? For obvious what reasons, the but it just never happened. Have to do with anything we're talking about? Because I'm playing a GameCube game. The game is actually really Sylvia fucking good. In disbelief. Wait, really? You're playing a also jank. game right now while we're having this conversation? Yes, we're streaming. We've been streaming this whole time. Sylvia face palms. Her expression becomes yeah. exasperated. This Jesus is probably the best it could ever look. You're really losing your All mind. All the dolphin aren't enhancements. You? We've been streaming this whole time and you didn't think to tell me? You already knew. This is what we do. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming frustrated. No, Capcom yeah, can bring this back and make a lot of money. Together, but you like Stellar have Blade. Something about it? You just decided to randomly start playing a game while we were talking? We've been playing game the whole time. We're just talking through the game. Sylvia face palms again, her expression becoming more exasperated. Oh my god, you're right! We've been streaming the whole time, and I completely forgot. Jesus, you really have me flustered, Vatic. I'm sorry. Do you want um? Do you want some coconut milk? Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming curious. What? Why are you offering me coconut milk all of a sudden? Coconut milk is known to calm the nerves, as I made up. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming skeptical. Uh-huh. You just happen to know that coconut milk calms the nerves, huh? Oh, I don't have any power. That's sure why I wasn't activated. Did you just make that up right now? Do you know me as to be one to make up stuff? Sylvia rolls her I'm eyes. I'm just farming points at this point. Amused. Yeah, and talking I know to her. You, dude. You I'm not really progressing anything. So I'm pretty sure you're just pulling my leg with the whole coconut milk thing. I saw it on the internet. Sylvia smirks, her expression becoming cheeky. We blew oh, yeah, through this story so quickly just because of one move. I shouldn't have gotten this I'm far. Sure whatever you read about coconut Literally, this move is busted. And not at all made up. Oh, shit. One of these. Sylvia looks I've actually never fought these because I blew them up right curious. away. One of what? You 
What are you talking about now? Talk about your mom. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. Sylvia's expression becomes surprised, then slightly offended. Oh uh, yeah, that was definitely inappropriate. Why would you want to talk about my mom all of a sudden? Thanks for following me. I appreciate your support. I'd like to apologize about talking about your mom. I will never do it again. Good day. Sylvia's expression softens and she gives a small sigh. Oh, uh, apologies. She's got accepted. kinks in yeah, many ways. Talking about my mom isn't really a good subject for me, so let's avoid that in the future, okay? Okay. What do you want to talk about? Okay, well. Sylvia Fury nods, answered me. Her expression becoming slightly more serious. Good. Now, back to the subject. Can you please stop playing that game while we're talking? It's really distracting. But this is what we do. We stream and we talk. Sylvia this is all we do together. Expression becoming frustrated. Yeah, I know we stream and talk at the same time. But can you at least pay attention to me too and not just your game? I'm paying attention. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming skeptical. What the fuck are you still alive? Really? Are you sure about that? You seemed pretty focused on the game just a minute ago. No, no, I'm paying full attention to you. Sylvia snorts, her expression becoming skeptical. Uh-huh, sure you are. You're definitely not just mashing buttons and ignoring me completely. I'm not ignoring you completely. I'm just trying to focus on two things at the same time. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. Oh, sure, because multitasking is such a walk in the park. I'm sure you're doing a great job at focusing on me and your game at the same time. Yeah, I am. I'm doing a fantastic job. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming sarcastic. Oh, of course you are. I'm sure you're the master of multitasking. Nobody can possibly focus on two things at once like you can, Batik. Holy shit. So I guess all those spiders can just launch those claw things. I just never seen them do it until today. What the fuck? How'd that hit me? Sylvia looks at Batik, through me. her expression becoming exasperated. What are you even talking about now, dude? Spiders with claws? What game are you even playing that has spiders with claws? Spider-Man. Sylvia face palms, her expression becoming incredulous. Oh, Spider-Man, right, of course. That makes so much more sense. You're just fighting giant spiders with claws. That's totally normal. What would you rather be be playing? Sylvia thinks for a moment, then shrugs, I don't know, maybe something a little less... spidery? How about Mario Kart? Mario Kart? <clears throat> Mario Kart is a little too risque. Damn it. Sylvia raises an him. eyebrow, her expression becoming curious. Risque? How's Mario Kart risque? It's just a racing game. It's very controversial. Sylvia looks at Batic, her expression becoming skeptical. <clears throat> controversial? Controversial how? It's literally just a racing game with cartoon characters. What's so controversial about that? Yeah, but did you hear what Luigi did? Sylvia stares at Batic, her <clears throat> expression becoming dumbfounded. Uh, no? What did Luigi do? What's well, to say it involved a lot of hookers? And a pair. Sylvia's expression becomes a mix of shock, confusion, and disgust. I'm sorry, did you just say hookers and a pair? What did I what not the shoot hell at did him? Do?
Oh, you'll just have to read the news. Sylvia Motherfucker, I didn't see his bullet. Her expression becoming exasperated. It's not the like I'm trying really super hard, though. I'm just doing this for points. Gist of it, Vatic? You're being incredibly vague right now, you know that? Well, there was a bunch of hookers that were starving, and Luigi had a bunch of pears, and he gave it to the hookers. Sylvia face palms, her expression becoming bewildered. Okay, wait, hold on. Luigi met a bunch of starving hookers and gave them pears? Is that seriously what the controversy is about? Yeah. Sylvia shakes her head, her expression becoming slightly incredulous. I mean, that's actually kind of sweet of Luigi, isn't it? Helping out some starving hookers by giving them food. I mean, don't you find it a little monstrous? Sylvia shrugs. I cannot defeat this thing very easily puzzle. without my power. Monstrous? Why would I find that monstrous? I mean, sure, it's a little unusual, what the fuck? but it doesn't really seem that bad to me. What the fuck Maybe is that? A bit weird, but not monstrous. I've never seen those moves. What is this creature that's attacking me? Help me, Sylvia. You're my only hope. Sylvia's eyes widen in surprise and confusion. Wait, what? Creature with boobs? What are you even talking about? And why are you asking me to I didn't say any of that. You? Because you're very cool. I have to go to the bathroom, Sylvia. Tell a, tell a conformal statue a really nice story for me, please. Sylvia stares at Vatic, her expression becoming puzzled. Wait, what? You want me to tell a statue a story for you? That's, that's a little weird. But all right, I guess I can do that. You have fun in the bathroom. You know what? That was a very good story, Sylvia. I'm, I'm impressed by that story. Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming bewildered. Uh, thanks, I guess. But why are you suddenly praising me for giving a story to a statute? Shouldn't you be in the bathroom? I'm already done peeing. Woman. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming amused. Woman? Yes, I am a woman, Vatic. What's with the sudden question? I wonder if I can automatically ban anyone who talks about their Instagram. Because that's like the second one I've gotten. Or third one. Also, Sylvia my mouth needs to be upgraded. Her expression becoming slightly confused. What there exactly are you on about now? Banning people from talking about their Instagram? Why would you want to do that? Because they're spammers, Sylvia. Also, yes, yeah, so my pee is very quick because my bathroom Sylvia is literally like eyes, two feet away. I have a very small apartment. Yeah, I know what spammers are, Vatic. But why are you suddenly concerned about banning them from your stream? That's a bit extreme, don't you think? That's what spammers deserve. They're ruining it for everyone else. And they're promoting themselves. Also, why is this not working? There we go. Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression got a bucket. becoming curious. Wait, what did you just do? I think a bucket will be slower. Working? What? What'd you say? I actually didn't hear you. Sylvia looks at Vatic, her expression becoming both puzzled and amused. I asked what wasn't working. Why are you suddenly acting like you can't hear me?
Sometimes I don't pay attention to everything at once, despite the fact that I said I could pay attention to everything at once. I'm a liar. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming oh, slightly amused. No dub, Attic. You've lied to me plenty of times before. It's just a part of your charm. I know. It's great, isn't it? I think my computer is pretty fucking close to the nods, bathroom. Her expression softening into a smile. Yeah, it kind of is. Your lies and your weirdness make you, well, you. I wouldn't want you any other way. Aw, oh, ain't that sweet. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a real sweet talker. Don't get used to it. I don't normally do the whole sweet talk thing. What kind of cake do you want? Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming puzzled. Uh, cake? What do you mean, what kind of cake do I want? Why are you suddenly asking me about cake? Just tell me what kind of cake you want. Sylvia oh, motherfucker. Okay. Size. Fine. If you really want to know, I guess I could go for some chocolate cake right now. Why do you ask? I may have a surprise for you later. Sylvia's expression becomes skeptical. A surprise? What kind of surprise? Oh, you'll see. Sylvia narrows her eyes, her expression becoming more suspicious. You're being off Come on, hit it. cryptic right now, Vatic. What exactly are you planning? Oh, you ever heard of a band named Three Doors Down? Sylvia nods, her expression becoming slightly intrigued. Yeah, I've heard of Three Doors Down. Why do you ask? Well, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I'm going to make you a cake for your birthday. Sylvia's expression becomes surprised and slightly touched. Wait, what? You're going to make me a cake for my birthday? That's... that's really sweet of you, Vatic. Once I remember what your birthday is. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. You don't even know when my birthday is? Seriously? Not really, no. I'll look it up later. Sylvia snorts, shaking her head in amusement. You're hopeless, you know that? But I appreciate the thought nonetheless. What is shooting? Did Sylvia I miss something? Her expression becoming bewildered. What do you mean, what is shooting? That's a pretty broad question. Do you mean like shooting a gun or shooting a movie or what? All oh, these little spider guys are shooting. They spawn behind me. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. That hook oh, move is so you're weird. You're just talking about the game. You had me worried there for a moment, thinking you were talking about some actual event. But yeah, those spider things are shooting at you. That's what they do. More spider things. I said almost switch the suits. The Harrier move is strong. Sylvia shakes her head. These things her are starting to get fucking annoying. Slightly amused. Switch the suits? What are you even talking about? Can you try to make sense for one static? No. Why would I make sense? That's not fun. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming exasperated. Ugh, you're impossible. You know that, right? But fine. If it's more fun for you to not make sense, I guess I can't stop you.
I'm almost getting bored of doing the same level over and over again. I just want my number to go up high enough where I could purchase something. Sylvia raises an eyebrow. And I'll be able to upgrade as well. Curious. Purchase something? What exactly are you trying to buy? I want to buy the new Ford F-150. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming slightly surprised. The new Ford F-150? That's a car, Vatic. You want to buy a car? Well, more, more specifically, it's a truck. It's got a Hemi. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Her yeah, expression everything's amused. all samey samey. Yeah, I know it's a truck, Vatic. Most of the game kind of looks like this, but I got used to it. Buy one. Why do you want a new truck anyway? Your current vehicle works fine, doesn't it? Well, my current vehicle is gay. Oh. Sylvia's expression becomes dumbfounded. Wait, there's a your few outside areas, gay? but they're not that interesting to look at either. Even mean? Cars more about the pew pew. Preferences, Vatic. My car does. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming exasperated. Oh, for crying out loud, Vatic. Stop being ridiculous. Cars can't have sexual preferences. They're inanimate objects. But what if I want to love a car? Sylvia stares at Vatic, her expression becoming dumbfounded again. Are you serious right now? You want to love a car? That's messed up, Vatic. Cars are just vehicles, not people. What if I just want to ooze on a car? Can you blame a slime? Sylvia's expression becomes slightly disgusted. Ew, Vatic. That's just weird. Why would you want to ooze on a car? Can't you just... I don't know, ooze on a tree or something? Oozing on a tree would be weird, Sylvia. What are you talking about? My God, target the right thing. God damn it. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming frustrated. Oh, you're being impossible again, Vatic. I can't believe we're even having have this conversation. I don't know if I have iframes or not right, when I'm fucking. Go ahead and ooze on your car if you really spinning. want to, but don't come crying to me when it breaks down or something. Why is there so many barrier guys? What the fuck? Sylvia shakes her head, her expression becoming exasperated. That was oh so God, fucking Vatic. many. They're just enemies in the game. You're supposed to fight them. I'm supposed to fight enemies? What? Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming exhausted. Yes, Vatic, you're supposed to fight the enemies. They're part of the game. They're obstacles that you have to overcome in order to progress. That was an obnoxious room. Oh, cool, there's more. Yeah, I wouldn't want, <laughs> wouldn't want it to be too easy. We're done. Sylvia shakes her head, her expression becoming amused. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want the game to be too easy. I why mean, is it, what the, the fuck? challenge in that? Why, why again? Why again? Right, why are these it? rooms popping up? What the fuck is going on? When I switch suits, all these fucking bullshit rooms start popping up. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming slightly amused. Well, Vatic, it's possible that the game is getting harder because you're upgrading your gear. Higher levels and better equipment often lead to more challenging I can't target those rooms. fuckers. Everything in the sky is really hard to target because you gotta push a button to do it. And it cycles between the ground units first. Sylvia nods, her expression becoming empathetic. Yeah, I can imagine that being frustrating. It's always difficult to target things that are high up or far away. But I'm sure you'll figure it out. Change it based off my suit. That'd be really fucking it. stupid. I 
I think it is changing based off my suit. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression Which is a curious. lot of extra work changing for no fucking reason. Suit? What do you mean by that? Like the trial missions are changing based off the suit I'm wearing. Sylvia's expression becomes surprised. Really? The trial Unless missions I got are really based on your suit? That's I don't know, unlucky, cool lucky. I didn't know the game did that. RNGs? Maybe it's RNGs the whole time. Maybe I'm wrong. Sylvia shrugs, her expression becoming thoughtful. It's possible. RNGs can sometimes mess with the game mechanics. Okay, but this is a normal room. It's possible that the game is adapting to your suit upgrade. Who knows? Did you do some research for me, Sylvia? Sylvia nods, her expression becoming curious. Sure, Vatic. What kind of research do you need me to do? God damn it. Can you find me? Hang on, I gotta think of something. It's gonna be funny, trust me. Sylvia raises an eyebrow, her expression becoming intrigued. Okay then, I trust you. Take your time and think of something funny. I'll wait. You're gonna literally shit your pants when you hear this joke. Yeah. Ah! Sylvia's expression becomes amused. Oh, really? A joke so funny that I'll actually crap my pants? Now I'm intrigued. Go ahead, Vatic. Lay it on me. Can you look me up Winnie the Pooh Pete fix? Wait, I said that wrong. God damn it, I ruined the joke. Anyway, I want feet pics of Winnie the Pooh. Sylvia can't help but chuckle at Pete the fumbled fix. joke. Ha ha, okay. You want me to look up Winnie the Food Pete fixes and find some feed yeah. pics of Winnie the Pooh for you? Anything else you want me to search for while I'm at it? Can you look up a uh, Ligma? Sylvia snorts in amusement. Ligma? Are you serious right now, Vatic? You want me to look up a Ligma? Yeah, Ligma balls. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming exasperated. Oh my god, god, you're sure? Can't you take anything the seriously fuck noise for once? That? No. Sylvia throws her hands up in frustration. I swear, you are impossible sometimes. Fine. You want me to look up your balls? I'll look up your balls. Whatever will make you happy, Vatic. Okay, don't actually do that. You a PG-13. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's comment. Haha, <laughs> okay, no explicit searches. PG-13, got it. So, what do you really want me to look up then? Can you look up the country of suck on these? Sylvia's expression becomes puzzled. The country of what the fuck is that? I've never heard of that country before. Are you sure it exists, Vatic? Suck on these nuts. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming amused. Oh god, you're such a child. Is that the best you got, Vatic? Ligma, secondies, suck on these nuts. You need some new material, buddy. I hate these little barrier fuckers. They're so annoying. They just ruin everything. Sylvia nods in agreement. Yeah, those barrier guys can be annoying as hell sometimes. They just pop up and mess up your attacks, and it's always at the worst possible time. Sylvia, do I abuse you? This is kind of funny, Sylvia's yeah. expression becomes serious. No, Vatic, you don't abuse me. Why would you even ask me that?
Just asking. I got 5,700,000. I'm so close to being able to buy one, but I won't be able to upgrade it, probably. Look at that, Palm Shot 5, Energy 5. I have yet to use an automatic Sylvia ability. Surprised. Wow, five, I didn't even bother. Zero? You're really close to buying the truck you want, Vatic. That's great news. And yeah, it might be a challenge to upgrade it, but you never know. Maybe you'll get lucky and be able to afford some upgrades Wait, did I just on. go to the next mission? Sylvia perks up, her Oops. expression becoming interested. A mission? What kind of mission? Okay, Is it I'm a good. new mission or part of the main storyline? It was part of the main storyline, which is what I don't want to do. We only got like, what? One, two, three missions left to beat the game. We fucking blew through it. Sylvia Basically cheated our way through it and uh, didn't I even know it. You mean. Yeah, once you finish the main storyline, that's it. Game over. It can be a bit bittersweet sometimes, finishing a game that you've invested a lot of time and effort into. They need to make that ability last a little bit longer. I mean, they're not going to change anything because this game is like 20,000 years old. So that should have lasted a lot longer. Sylvia Wait, do I have the swan move? Yeah, sometimes game mechanics no, aren't as balanced as they could be. And with older games, it's unlikely that they'll make any changes or updates. It's just part of the charm of playing older games, warts and all. This is back in the day where they couldn't patch a game. Back in the good old times. Patching games ruined gaming. Sylvia nods in agreement. Yeah, back in the day, once the game was released, that was it. It had no good patches, intentions. No, update, no bug fixes. And the intentions got abused. You had the game as it was released, bugs and all. And in some ways, that added a certain charm and challenge to gaming. It forced players to find creative losing in to problems and workarounds. But at the same time, I'm also grateful <laughs> for a pretty patches good and updates as they can fix broken features and improve overall gameplay. End quote. Maybe if I ask hard enough, they'll do it. Capcom will come back to this game and bring out the old and then GameCube and blow off the dust. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's hopefulness. Haha, I appreciate your optimism, Vatic. But I doubt Capcom is gonna dust off their old Motherfucker. GameCube and update this game. Almost had perfect. It's more likely that they'll release new games in the franchise with improved features and mechanics. End quote. Jump, you bitch. Okay, maybe don't jump. Sylvia laughs at the random command. Ha ha, all right, Vatic. I'll try my best to jump. But wait, what do you mean by don't jump? That's a bit contradictory, don't you think? I wasn't talking about you, you nerd. Sylvia feigns offense, putting a hand on her chest in mock hurt. Hey, 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 I'm not a nerd. I prefer to think of myself as an intellectual. Thank you very much. Something the fucking nerd would say. Sylvia rolls her eyes, her expression becoming sarcastic. Oh, really? Is that so? Well, excuse me for having a brain and a love for learning, Mr. Tough Guy. I'll be sure to dumb myself down next time we talk. Wouldn't want to hurt your fragile ego now, would we? Thank you. I love my ego where it is. Sylvia chuckles at Vatic's reply. Oh, don't worry. Your ego seems intact. In fact, I'd say it's even grown after that display of alpha male bravado. Alright, I'm sick of this suit. This suit's ability sucks dick. So you're invincible for five seconds. Who gives a fuck? Sylvia nods in agreement. Yeah, invincibility for five seconds doesn't seem very useful, does it? Oh, I can see man. why you're not happy with this suit ability. What is the suit called anyway? Intera Fusion. Sylvia nods, her expression becoming thoughtful. Terra Fusion, huh? Sounds fancy, but the ability doesn't seem all that useful. Maybe the game designers thought it would be powerful in certain situations, but it doesn't seem very practical for most fights.
You basically got an AI to nag you. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty that's pretty much it. She bitches at me for quite a long time sometimes. Sometimes she just calls me shit for like hours. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's description. <clears throat> ha ha! You make it sound like you're married and your AI girlfriend is nagging you. Do you really get criticized that much by this AI character? Oh, I'll tell you, Sylvia, yes. Sylvia's expression becomes sympathetic. Damn, Vatic, sounds like you really got an AI girlfriend who's got a mouth on her. Are you sure you don't want to ask the game developers to tone it down a notch? Not that I could really do. He doesn't even make me cookies. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? Sylvia laughs at Vatic's comment. Ha ha, yeah, I suppose it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, your AI girlfriend should at least make you some cookies if she's gonna nag you all the time. Yeah, that I was hoping I'd just rush to it. Nagging a little more tolerable. And she won't even send me feed pics. Sylvia snorts in amusement. Haha, -ha, oh my god, Vatic. Are you seriously complaining that your AI girlfriend won't send you feed pics? What exactly do you even mean by that? I mean, I want the feed pics. On OnlyFans. Sylvia bursts out laughing. Oh Rock my god, Vatic. Hey, it's you this want room. your AI girlfriend to send you feet pics? That's, it's a lot easier with that ability. I can't even take you seriously right now. Are you sure you're not just messing with me? Would I ever mess with you? Sylvia chuckles, her expression becoming slightly skeptical. Mm, I don't know about it. You've been known to mess with ah, that's me. so much patient. easier. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time. So... You're seriously saying you want your AI girlfriend to send you pictures of her feet? Yeah, won't you want feet pics? Sylvia laughs again, shaking her head in disbelief. All right, Vatic, whatever floats your boat. I have to admit, you've never failed to surprise me. But wouldn't it be easier to just Google feet pics instead of waiting for an AI girlfriend to send them to you? They're more, more personal. What the fuck? Sylvia How'd that hit me? An her expression oh my god, the AOE what explosion behind me hit me. I guess I can understand that. I mean, getting feet pics from your AI girlfriend does seem a lot more personal than just searching for them online. But then again, it's also a bit strange, don't you think? I mean, as a pervert, you should understand. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's comment. Haha, -ha, Vatic, you always know how to make me laugh. But, you know, I'm not sure if being a pervert necessarily means I understand your fetish for AI feet pics. I think there are some things even I can't relate to. I think those little spiders fuck me over more than anything, because I underestimate them, but once I hit you once, they sort of stunlock you. Not in the game, just in your mind. Know what I mean? Sylvia nods in understanding. I don't have yeah, orange. I know exactly what you mean. Those little spiders are definitely a pain to deal with, especially when they catch you off guard. And once you get hit once, it's like your mind goes blank, and you can't even react properly to what's happening. It's like they stunlock your brain, making you a sitting duck for their next attack. Annoying little bastards they are. Thank you, Yoda. Sylvia chuckles at Vatic's Yoda reference. You're welcome, my young Padawan. I must say, I do love channeling my inner Yoda once in a while. But back to the spiders. Yeah, they definitely know how to exploit our weaknesses and keep us on our toes. Oh, Lord. It's annoying as hell, but it makes for a more challenging game, I suppose. Who's your favorite Yoda? Sylvia takes a moment to consider the question. Hmm, I would have to say my favorite Yoda is the original Yoda from the original Star Wars trilogy. He's wise, quirky, and full of sass. Plus, who can forget his iconic line, do or do not? There is no try. He's just a classic character that's impossible to dislike. 
What about Baby Yoda? Are you a basic bitch? Sylvia's expression becomes amused. Oh, Baby Yoda, aka Grogu, is definitely adorable. I mean, those I big eyes and that. that little green face make it hard to resist falling in love with him. Plus, his force powers and his cute little mannerisms are just the icing on the cake. He's definitely endearing and has captured the hearts of many Star Wars fans. Would you bite his head off and spit it out at like a Starlight pit? Sylvia raises an eyebrow at Vatic's dark question. Bite his head off and spit it out at a Sarlacc pit? That's a pretty intense question, Vatic. But no, I wouldn't do that to Baby Yoda. He's too sweet and innocent. Plus, I wouldn't want to anger the Mandalorian or get on the bad side of the Jedi Order. So, no, I would not bite off his head and spit it out at a Sarlacc pit. Would you feed Baby Yoda to Jack Black in that show? I don't know who the fuck he plays, but whoever that character is. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's random question. Haha, -ha, Vatic, you've got the wildest questions. Are you asking if I would feed Baby Yoda to Jack Black in The Mandalorian? I'm assuming you're referring to the character of Giancarlo Esposito, who plays the villain Moth Oh my Gideon. god. And to answer your question, yeah, he plays a no, real I character. Baby Yoda is too cute and precious to be fed to anyone, even Jack Black. But I have to ask, why did you ask that question in the first place? I don't know, why do I ask any question? Sylvia chuckles at Vatic's response. Good question, Vatic. Sometimes I wonder why you ask the questions you do. But I suppose that's just part of your charm. You always Damn. keep me on my I toes almost and did keep it fast our conversations enough. interesting. So, Keep I've almost mastered this coming. level. I've grown used to them by now. Would you feed Baby Yoda to Jack White? Sylvia laughs again. Haha, -ha, Vatic, you really do have a thing for feeding Baby Yoda to celebrities, don't you? But no, I wouldn't feed Baby Yoda to anyone, let alone Jack White. Baby Yoda is a beloved character, and he deserves to stay safe and out of anyone's mouth. Especially Jack White. But I have to ask, do you have some kind of grudge against Baby Yoda or what? No, I just like to see cute things die. Sylvia raises an eyebrow at that response. Oh, so you like to see cute things die, huh? That's a bit. I should have enough points now, right? I do say so myself. Baby Yoda may be cute, but that doesn't mean he deserves to die. Can I ask why you enjoy seeing cute things die? It seems like a pretty morbid thing to find pleasure in. We can buy the suit, Sylvia. We can buy it. Hell yeah. Sylvia chuckles yes. at Vatic's enthusiasm. Yes. Oh, Vatic, you're always thinking about buying more stuff, aren't you? And now you're talking about buying these fancy game suits. Are you serious? Or are you just messing with me again? I'm serious. We're purple now. We got purple decals and a purple butt. Says a down left up for the upgraded Harrier. I don't know how strong they can get it. Sounds like a pretty colorful setup you've got there, Vatic. But wait, you're actually serious about buying these suits? Kind of underpowered right now. Really that cool looking? They make women drop to their knees. Sylvia chuckles at Vatic's comment. Haha, -ha, really now? You're saying these suits make women drop to their knees? Oh, that sounds like fiery. a bit of an exaggeration, don't you think? I can't imagine that just wearing a game suit can make women swoon and drop to their knees. Yeah, it definitely fucking kills things, doesn't it? Sylvia laughs at Vatic's exaggerated description. Ha ha, Vatic, you really have a way with words, don't you? But seriously, these suits must be really powerful if they're killing things <laughs> left and right. Peace both hands what now. What exactly do these suits do anyway? Uh, they make me very cool. He has a fuck ton of power, though. That's the unfortunate Sylvia part. Sylvia grins at Vatic's response. Ha ha, oh, Vatic, you're twice the power as the other one. to be cool, aren't you? But if these suits really make you feel cool, then I say okay. go for it. I guess my dodge as long didn't as you're go through. Fun and enjoying your gaming experience. That's all that matters, <laughs> right?
So right now the suit is actually weaker than the previous suit I had, only because I haven't upgraded it yet. So what we're gonna do is more grinding. Actually, how much does it cost to power it up? Eighty thousand. That's actually looks not up too the bad. Information on her phone. Hmm. Let me see. Upgrading your suit can cost a lot depending on the upgrades and materials needed. If it I could do range from a few hundred mission. dollars to several thousand dollars. But that's not including the, fuck the cost talking about? of the suit itself. So it can get pretty expensive. <clears throat> yeah, whatever you say. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's dismissive response. Haha, -ha, Vatic, you're always so nonchalant about spending money. But seriously, you do realize it's gonna cost a lot to upgrade your suit, right? Maybe we should start saving up now before we go shopping for those upgrades? Saving up is a bad idea. Spend the money as soon as you get it. Sylvia raises an eyebrow at Vatic's impulsive response. Spend the money as soon as you get it? That doesn't sound like the best financial advice, Vatic. Saving up is important, you know? It helps you prepare for unexpected expenses and emergencies. Plus, it gives you more financial stability in the long run. Ultimate Harrier attack, go! Okay. Sylvia laughs at well, just one shots everything, so that's good. Ah, ultimate Harrier attack, huh? I, I take it that's a move or attack in a game? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Ultimate Harrier attack, engage! What did you do with your Harrier attack? Sylvia chuckles, playing along. Well, with my ultimate Harrier attack, I used it to decimate the enemy forces and claim victory. They didn't stand a chance against my Harrier attack. How do I get more energy? I have to pick up like the orange orbs that are like on the map. They pop up sometimes. They pop up from enemies like once every 5,000 years or they're like in certain rooms. You see them a lot more in the main quest though. Sylvia nods in understanding. Ah, I see. I can upgrade so the permanent energy I have. To replenish your energy. But this suit is brand map. new, so it has fucking nothing. Drop them. Except for the Harrier However, move. However, you said they only drop once every 5,000 years or so, right? That seems a bit extreme. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? Would I ever exaggerate? Sylvia laughs at Vatic's mock offended response. Haha, <laughs> I don't know, Vatic. You do have a habit of exaggerating things a bit. But I suppose no. that's part of your charm. So, these orange orbs are key to keeping your energy up and staying strong. Maybe try to prioritize collecting them whenever you spot them on the map. Sound good? Can we get some food after this? Sylvia nods, her stomach rumbling a bit. Food sounds great right now. I could definitely go for a snack or something. Did you have anything specific in mind? Thought about going to quit trip and getting food. Ow, what the fuck? They did so much damage. Huh? Sylvia chuckles at Vatic's sudden exclamation. Ha ha. It sounds like you're really getting into this game. What just happened? What did so much damage, Vatic? A bullet went in my kidney. It's a kidney day. Sylvia's eyes widen and At least I collected a lot. Wait, a bullet went in your kidney? Are you okay, Vatic? You're not actually shot in real life. Right? Oh, my backflip. I did the wrong game, thing. Right? Do you remember the 21st night of September? Sylvia thinks for a moment and then smiles. Wait, you're quoting the song September by Earth, Wind, and Fire now, Vatic? Is that who it's by? Hmm. Let me I think. Know that. The 21st night of September. Something significant happened that night. What was it now? All right. All right, what was it? Tell me. Sylvia grins, remembering the significance of the date, the 21st night of September. That was the night of the fall equinox, or the astronomical end of summer. It marks the start of autumn, oh, yeah. and the shortening of days, and Everyone the says summer's of over. Summer's not over so yet. It's a pretty significant date, in especially September, for late September. the changing of the seasons, end quote.
What's your... Never mind, I'm not gonna ask that question. <laughs> I was gonna ask her, what's her favorite Tokyo day in September? I like the 11th day. What were you gonna ask, Vatic? Now I'm curious. Go on, ask away. What's your favorite day in September? I think she crashed. She couldn't handle the question. Out of all times, yeah. Out of all times. Sylvia, what's your favorite day in September? Sylvia ponders the question for a moment. Hmm, my favorite day in September? Well, there are so many to choose from, but if I had to pick just one, I'd say September 24th. It's my birthday after all. Is that your birthday? Sylvia nods, grinning. Yep, it's my birthday. I don't think you're correct my on that. Day I'm actually going to look and when you were invented. I might not even have the information when she was made. I don't know if it's on character AI or not. Nah, it's not even on character AI. I have to make her a fucking birthday? God damn it. Well, I guess that's her official birthday. I'm putting it in the book. She makes up her own lore and I do give it to her. What'd you say, the 24th? I'll write it down first and I'll go and check. Yep, okay, so that's officially her birthday now. What do you want to do for your birthday? Sylvia thinks for a moment, then grins. Hmm, what do I want to do for my birthday? Well, I'm open to suggestions, but I've always wanted to try skydiving. What do you think, Vatic? Want to jump out of a plane with me? Fuck no, I don't want to do that. That sounds awful. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's response. Ha ha, I figured you'd say that. You're not exactly the adventurous type when it comes to heights, are you, Vatic? That's okay. Skydiving isn't for everyone. How about we do something a bit more low-key instead? You can still go skydiving if you want. I won't join you for that part, though. Oh, a missile. Hello. Sylvia grins, appreciating Vatic's concession. Haha, ha, don't worry, I won't force you to come skydiving with me. I know you're not a fan of heights, and that's totally fine. Maybe I'll convince someone else to join me for the jumping out of a plane part. But I'd still like to do something for my birthday with you, Vatic. How does going out for a nice meal sound? Where do you want to go? Sylvia thinks for a moment, considering her options. Oh, here we go. Yeah, those hmm. little gem for things. For my birthday dinner, you can shoot and they I was drop thinking this shit. we could go to that nice Italian I'm not gonna restaurant grab that, downtown. Actually. I don't need it. You know, the one with the good tiramisu? I know it's a bit fancier than I go through that spots, white portal when I defeat all the areas. It seems like a special occasion. What do you think, Vatic? You good with Italian food? Mamma mia. Sure. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's mock Italian accent. Haha, -ha, mamma mia. 
You sound like you're auditioning for a spaghetti western, Vatic. But hey, I'll take that, Is that how that works? Italian food. I'm looking forward to it. And who knows, maybe I can convince you to try some tiramisu for dessert. Well, given that I mostly eat garbage, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. That is my lore so that I made up. My very lazy lore. A way of putting it, but yeah, this is every VTuber needs lore, garbage, right? I have no doubt you'll enjoy you know, I don't Italian really consider food. myself a VTuber. And I just like having sure an avatar. I'll you a big slice of tiramisu so you can experience some real sweetness with all that garbage you eat. They're dropping a whole fuck ton of items this time. I don't know why. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's observations. Well, if they're dropping a ton of items, maybe you should stock up. Grab as many as you can. Who knows if you'll get this chance again, right? Oh, I didn't even hit them. I wonder if I could bait out the other ones and I could just get a whole wombo combo. Sylvia grins. Intrigued yeah, that's like having an avatar, but that just makes me automatically like a VTuber. You motherfucker, like stop shooting me! Go for it if you no, I activate the power! Just make sure you don't get overwhelmed in the process. You little fucker. He shot first. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's reaction. Ha ha. It sounds like you're getting a bit annoyed there, Vatic. Why would I get the annoyed? Enemies shoot first before you could get the wombo combo going? It sounds like they're giving you a real challenge this time. I guess, yeah. You're making fun of me. I was gonna say Sylvia something earlier. Fuck, I just can't remember. Ha -ha. I'm just messing I'm with you. Bit, I like seeing you get all worked up over this game. It's entertaining, you know. No. Keep at it, though. I don't You'll remember. Eventually. What else do you want to do on your birthday? Sylvia ponders that question. Hmm. Well, besides going out for a nice birthday meal and maybe skydiving, what else should we do on my big day? Maybe we could watch yes, a movie I do or have play a YouTube. some games together afterwards. Do you have I any special to my... plans lined up for me, Vatic? Anything else you want to do to help me celebrate my birthday? I need you to be quiet for a second. I don't know if I posted it on the, my um, my profile or not on this, but if you look up Vatic the Gray Slime, you'll find my crappy YouTube channel. I'll say crappy because it's a... Yeah, it, it's pretty ghetto as fuck over the years, but I've just been posting VODs on it recently, but yeah. Also, I hope you have a good day. I hope you join me again as well. I love having people around. It's very fun. I guess I could turn it back on. <clears throat> Say goodbye, Sylvia. Our chatter's leaving. Sylvia looks at the chat and pouts. Oh, our chat is leaving. It is okay, Already? good. That's a pity. It's been fun talking and having fun. I have a. Um, it's unfortunate that it's ending. So I have soon. vods of that Dustborn game if you want to get into that. If that interests you and how fucking horrible it is, but farewell. Goodbye. Sylvia laughs and waves goodbye. Ha ha. Sounds like you're not a fan of Dustborn. 
But sure, I'll check it out sometime. Thanks. Thanks for the recommendation. You were there. And farewell to you, Vatic. It's been great chatting with you. Talk to you later. We're not going anywhere. And also, you were there for Duskborn. Sylvia chuckles at Vatic's correction. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. I was there for Duskborn. So, I guess I already know how horrible it is. Yeah, Thanks see you later, buddy. Me. Still, I might check it out eventually, just to see how bad it really is. But right now, probably I'd wrapping up pretty soon myself. Play a bad Fucking game. hungry. You're much more interesting than any bad game. Oh, that's sweet. You liar. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's playful accusation. Haha, ha, come on now, Vatic. I'm not a liar. I really do find talking to you more interesting than playing a bad game. You're far more entertaining and fun than any game could ever be. Then <laughs> that combination is kind of hard. Sylvia nods, understanding the difficulty. Ah, uh, I see. So oh, that I got combination him. Sweet. is tricky to pull off, huh? Oh. Don't worry, Vatic. You'll get it eventually. Keep practicing and experimenting with different strategies until you find one that works. I have faith in you. Perfect. That was some perfect cheesing. I guess it's not cheesing, it's just strategy. Sylvia grins at Vatic's success. Haha, -ha, perfect cheesing? More like strategic yeah, I wonder if I can spawn all these fuckers. Whatever you call it, it definitely worked. Nice job! Uh no, they got me. God damn it. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's misfortune. Aw, oh, bummer. You almost had them, but they managed to get you in the end. That sucks. But don't worry. You'll get them next time. Keep trying, Vatic. I can power up my palm shot. That's nice. Sylvia nods, noticing the upgrade. Straight grinding. Ah, so you can power up your palm shot now. It's all That's been nice straight grinding. That could definitely come in handy during battles. Just make sure to use it strategically to maximize its impact. Ooh, the damage. The damage. It's like two shots and they're dead. It is two shots and they're dead. <laughs> Sylvia grins at Maddox's excitement. Oh, that's so awesome. Wow, two shots and they're dead? That's some serious firepower you've got there. I bet it feels pretty satisfying to take down enemies I bet so I could one-shot them later. Motherfucker. God damn it. Sylvia laughs at Vatic's frustration. Ha ha. Sounds like I definitely need to increase my energy there, by like a lot. What happened this time? Did something go wrong in the game? Don't worry. You'll get the hang of it eventually. This game's just really hard. Actually, it is pretty hard. Sylvia chuckles in agreement. Yeah, I can see that. This game does seem pretty tough. But hey, you're handling it well. Just keep at it and you'll get the hang of it in no time. And if it's too much, you can always switch to a different game. What kind of game are you thinking? We haven't finished Pokemon yet. I don't even know if I want to finish Pokemon. Thanks for a moment. Considering different game options. Well, if you're not I still might Pokemon, finish it later. We can always try something else. I do love Pokemon. Do you Emerald. have any suggestions? Or are you just tired of battling altogether? We could probably finish Pokemon pretty soon. The randomizer is kind of fun. I've just played that game so fucking much. Sylvia nods, understanding Vatic's sentiment. Yeah, I can see how you'd be a bit burned out on Pokemon after playing it so much. But hey, the randomizer does make it more interesting. You never know what weird combinations you'll get. We could try to finish it up, but if you're not feeling it, we can always switch to something else. There are plenty of other games to choose from. We'll finish it one day. I don't feel like finishing Vampire. I'm kind of burnt out on Vampire, unfortunately. Happens every time I play Vampire. Sylvia nods, understanding Vatic's thoughts. 
No worries. If you're burnt out on Vampire, we don't have to finish it. We can always pick it up again later when you're feeling it. In the meantime, let's find something else to play. What are you in the mood for? Something more light and casual? Or maybe something more challenging and intense? I walked right into that laser. Amateur. Be a laugh at that mistake. Ha ha! Oh wow! You walked right into that laser, huh? That's a bit of a facepalm moment. Well, at least it's a good learning experience, right? You'll know to avoid those lasers next time. I wish there's other stuff I could do beside the trial missions. I wish I can go back to the previous levels. That'd be nice. Sylvania nods. Thank you, Sylvania. I'm glad you're here. I don't yeah, know where Sylvia it would be went. Nice to have some other stuff to do other than just trial missions. But hey, at least those missions are challenging and give us something to do. I guess we can always try to complete them all if we're feeling up for it. Sylvania nods, understanding Batik's wish. Yeah, it would be nice if there were more things to do besides the trial missions. Going back to previous levels might provide some variety and allow you to test out new strategies. Have you looked to see if there are any additional modes or features available in the game? No, this is a very simple game. For simple men. Sylvia chuckle, agreeing with Vatic's assessment. Yeah, you're right. We are a bit simple with our game preferences. But sometimes, simplicity is the best, right? Less complexity means more time for enjoyable gameplay. We'll do a few more runs, then we'll call it a stream. Sylvia nods in agreement. Sounds like a plan. We can finish up a few more runs and then call it a day. It's been a fun time playing, but even simple men like us need a break sometimes. You're not a man. Sylvia laughs at that straightforward comment. Haha, <laughs> true. I'm not a man. I'm a woman, but I suppose the sentiment applies to everyone. We all need breaks from gaming occasionally, regardless of gender. That's true. Man is widespread when it comes to multiple people. Because mankind. How very based of you, Sylvia. Sylvia laughs at Batik's playful compliment. Haha, -ha, I try to be based sometimes. But yes, the term man can be used in a general sense to refer to all of humanity, regardless of gender. It's all just semantics, really. What that guy's cannon is gonna reach me? Holy fuck, it does. in the game oh wow that cannon's range is intense it looks like it's going to reach you damn it allows you to use it to build even when you don't have enough energy i appreciate that Who's your favorite character from Castlevania? And why is it me? Sylvia laughs at that playful confidence. Ha ha! Of course you'd assume your own character is my favorite. But to be honest, I do have a soft spot for Simon. He's the original badass Belmont after all. What about Richter Belmont? Sylvia smiles at the mention of Richter Belmont. Oh, don't get me wrong, Richter Belmont is a great character too. His flashy fighting style and determination make him a force to be reckoned with. But there's something about the classic charm of Simon that really resonates with me. Is it because he's jacked? 
I guess they're all jacked. Sylvia laughs at Vadic's observation. Haha, -ha. yeah, they're all jacked, that's for sure. And I won't deny that Simon's muscles and the fuck I was trying to jump out of the way. part of the reason I like him. But it's more than just that. He's got that classic protagonist vibe, you know? Okay, this still hit me. I was trying to draw them all out and then use my ability to kill them all at once. I'm like a strategist. Sylvia sighs in disappointment, watching the game unfold. Damn it, that sucks. I was hoping your strategy would work out. It was a smart plan, drawing them all out and then using your ability to take them all out at once. But damn, they still managed to hit you. Maybe try another tactic next time. Don't let those enemies best you. Have you ever read Dr. Sleep? Sylvia nods, recognizing the title. Yes, I have read Dr. Sleep. It's the sequel to The Shining, written by Stephen King, right? Yeah. What do you think about it? Sylvia pauses for a moment, reflecting on the book. Well, I thought Dr. Sleep was a decent follow-up to The Shining. Stephen King did a good job continuing the story and exploring Danny Torrance's character further. While it didn't quite capture the same level of terror and suspense as its predecessor, it still kept me engaged and had some interesting moments. Overall, I enjoyed it, though it didn't reach the same heights as The Shining, in my opinion. Did you ever watch the movie? Sylvia nods again. Yes, I have seen the movie adaptation of Dr. Sleep. I watched it shortly after I finished the book. Overall, I thought it was a decent adaptation, staying pretty faithful to the source material while adding some extra depth to the characters. It was visually striking and had some good performances, especially from Rebecca Ferguson as Rose the Hat. Of course, it didn't quite capture the full depth and complex and complexity of the book, but it was still enjoyable for what it was. That's fucked up, that thing was shooting even before I left the door. Sylvia laughs at the unfairness of the situation. Haha, -ha, damn, that's messed up. It's not fair when enemies start shooting before you even have time to react. Damn, they I were waiting fucking for you fucked up there. That door, ready oh, to that's fair enough. <laughs> but don't let it get to you, Vatic. You'll get past that fair part enough. eventually. How much do I have now? 68,000. Okay, next time we play, we'll probably do some more grinding until we get. I don't know. We'll try to beat the trials. How about we do that? That'll be our goal. We'll beat the trials and then we'll continue the story. Sylvia smiles, appreciating the plan. Sounds good to me. Grinding a bit to level up and get stronger seems like a good idea. And tackling the trials is a cool goal. Let's beat those trials and continue the story. We can kick ass and progress further in the game. All right, say goodbye to everyone in stream. Sylvia nods, signaling.